Now, the fifth order wrench cut a method uh, is as follows, and and really there's not that much that we need to get out of this, other than the fact that you can you can keep going and you can do higher order methods. But the thing that you sh should notice that that's a nice insight from this is compare this equation um, to the Boole's rule. And, and if you do that, you'll see that these coefficients, the 1 over 90, 7, 32, 12, 32, 7, so these are, it's using similar coefficients to weight uh, all the values. And so that's, that's I guess, the, the insight. So when you look at this, it's going to look a lot like a lot like Boole's rule for, for integration. And so uh, that's just sort of one of the insights that you can get from, uh, from Butchard's fifth, fifth order wrench cut algorithm. Uh, other than that, I mean, at this point, you just you can just um, you know plug in the values and and go through. But you can notice that there's uh, it's similar to the other approaches. But we're you know we we evaluate the first uh, the first value uh, at x we use to to estimate the first slope uh, k1, and then we go a fourth of the way a fourth of h. Uh, past, uh, we do that twice, and then we go halfway there, three fourths the way there, and then all the way there. Uh, we put all these together, and well, actually, all of them, but this one. Uh, we put all these together, and uh, and then we get our new our new estimate for uh, y i, so y i plus one. Again, uh, there's a trade off here. We, it's not always better just to use the higher algorithm. There's several trade-offs. One of the trade-offs is uh, the the amount of time that it takes to program this up. If you don't have to have that accurate of a solution, Euler's method is really really easy to program. Um, if if you need a little more accuracy, which which you typically do, you, usually Euler's method is is probably not good enough. But um, but Butcher's method, uh, the fifth order wrench cut might be a little bit overkill, and so uh, that's that's something to consider. And then also, um, you you do have some uh, some computational overhead as well for doing uh, the fifth order algorithm. So again, um, this this is the runge cut of methods that we have. Uh, so we've given a, a complete introduction to all the different runge cut of methods and. The most commonly used of the runge cutta methods is again this fourth order uh, runge cutta classical method, but the fifth order uh, butchered method is sometimes used uh, as well as other higher order methods.